Now, you've said the people have spoken. You're not suggesting, I think, another referendum, or are you? And how no, would that possibly come I'm not come suggesting about? that at this point. It, it, this will all depend, frankly, on whether members of parliament are going back to their constituencies right. and they're noticing real pressure with people saying, hang on, I didn't know this is what mm. it meant. And one of the things I've done in the last few months is talk to uh, a range of people, and if it's, if it's permissible still to talk to experts, a range of experts, particularly yeah. on the trade issue. I didn't understand how complicated this is going to be. I mean, if they're going to try and deliver exactly the same benefits as we have now in the single market and customs union, this is an endeavor of unparalleled complexity. Mm -hmm. And what people explain to me is that normally in f trade negotiations, yeah. you're talking about how you liberalize trade, right? This is about how you deliberalize over 40 years of complex trading arrangements. Now, yeah, okay. I think when the only thing people can point to is you're going to control a section of this EU immigration as the reason why we want to do this, I think it's possible. I don't put it See, higher than that. that there will be a rebellion in Parliament which changes well, direction. The, the people I... start to think, is this really going okay. to be the thing that is going to be important? Yeah. And then when you look at Scotland, you see another strain on the, the you, constitution of the country been, as a result. You've been very, very hostile to Jeremy Corbyn's leadership of the Labour Party, but don't you acknowledge that even if, you know, Clem Attlee was leading the Labour Party at the moment, he'd have had exactly the same problem over Labour voters who are pro-Brexit and Labour constituents who voted for Brexit. And therefore, right. he took the right decision in the House of Commons not to stop Article 50. I think the Labour Party should have a very, very simple position on Brexit. And I really don't think it's difficult at all. I think what the Labour Party should say is, we believed in Remain. We still think the best thing is for Britain to be part of the European Union. We acknowledge the people have voted against that. We acknowledge, therefore, the government have a, a mandate to negotiate Brexit. But we are going to hold them to the test that they have set. And if they do not pass that test, then we are going to retain the right to represent the people of this country, mm. should their will change, okay. to offer them the option of staying, particularly in a reformed Europe, which should be the other part of so, what the government and the opposition are doing, which is to investigate with the rest of Europe the possibilities of reform. Right. I don't see what's difficult about that. 